Good evening, the news summary for this Sunday, 20th September. The Seychelles Fire Rescue Services Agency has described the situation at the Providence Landfill as serious. A huge fire began last night in Landfill 2, which then spread to Landfill 1 uh, and eventually into the tires, uh, which are discarded in that area. The spokesperson for the SFRSA says they have mobilized all resources uh, to put the fire under control. Mr. Jones Madland says they are having issues with a shortage of water in one of the pumps have been damaged. The officers have said that the small amount of rain which fell a while ago did not help to did not help the situation. A helicopter is now being used to help extinguish the fire. Members of the public are being urged to refrain from coming to this area during this time. Meanwhile, the Seychelles uh, Civil Aviation Authority has informed SBC that the airport is still operational and that the impact on their operations has been minimal due to a reduced number of flights in the past few hours. The air operators have been informed as a precautionary measure. Provisions have been made for aircraft to land on one of the runways of which domestic flights and two international flights. The SCAA is assisting the Fire Seychelles Rescue Services Agency and other stakeholders to contain the spread of the fire by providing manpower and form. The President of the Republic, uh, Mr. Danny Faux, has visited the Providence Landfill to assess the situation and give his support to officers who are doing everything possible to control the fire. The Seychelles Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, SSPCA, says in light of the current situation at the Providence Landfill, they are preparing to move the animals if the situation worsens. They are monitoring the smoke and have a team on standby at the shelter. To be able to move the animals, the SSPCA is asking members of the public who have a pet carrier to, uh, to lend to, uh, to mark it with their name and phone number and to drop it off uh, at uh, Pauling's situated at Union Vale. There's a fresh warning to hikers to keep uh, officially to keep to officially designated and open trails to avoid getting lost. SPDF personnel have been deployed several times in recent weeks to help locate walkers who've got into difficulty. A newly formed special force unit is using state-of-the-art drones to improve their tracking cap capability. When a manhunt for missing walkers is needed, it's the SPDF who get the call, sometimes resorting to primitive tracking methods. Specially trained men with rappelling kit have been deployed repeatedly in recent months. Just last week, they had to locate a missing couple of tourists who'd got lost and were forced to spend the night on Trois Frères. They were in quite a bit of risk, but fortunately uh, the husband had some experience because the, the terrain here is very steep with ravines and uh, cliffs and especially at night it makes moving and navigating very difficult. There are currently nine official trails in Mahe alone and a great deal many more unofficial ones besides. Soon another 15 trails could be added to the list. That gives great potential for getting lost. If you're not respecting the official trails, it is. But if you keep on the official trails, you'll find, you'll find information post or direction post that we've placed on the trails. But, uh, but what I would warn people about as well is that not all the trails that they are walking on are official trails. Now there's a powerful weapon in a newly formed Special Forces Unit Armory, camera-equipped drones, soon with thermal imaging. The unit has 10 qualified pilots. We get to eliminate areas much more faster than the drone can access so that we don't have to send our troops in those particular areas. It also encourages more young people to join the force. A lot of people in the civil community, they already own drones, but it's a good chance for them to do it as their profession. 
several trails are currently closed because of the high cost of maintaining them while tourism revenues are depleted, but new official trail maps are on the way. With a clear call to hikers to stay safe. That's the end of this news summary. Join me at 8 for the news bulletin in Creole. Until then, have a pleasant evening.